All right, all right, all right. Dragon Ball Legends third anniversary is we're less than a month away. We're like half of a month away, literally, until we're at third anniversary, end of May. Again, if you've forgotten or you didn't know, end of May. We'll probably, if I had to say, get the reveals and stuff in like 12 to 14 days, I want to say. I think we got it on the 25th last year, if I'm remembering right off the top of my head, because I made a video on it, of course, you know, reacting to the whole reveals and stuff. So I think it was on the 25th. It's right around that time frame, and so we'll probably get it around that time again, you know, this year, which is only less than, you know, two weeks away. So that's super hype. We are end game. We basically know, we've known that GT is going to be one of the banners for our third anniversary. And then it was kind of up in the air on what the other banner is going to be, because, you know, assuming they do two banners again, which I'm almost positive they will. It was between Universe Survival Saga and Future. And I think with this weekly reset, They've tipped their hand on what it's gonna be. They've just put so much into this weekly reset that just makes me think it's it's gonna be future. But if you enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content and all that wonderful stuff, leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Please press the big red button, it means a lot. Hit the bell, all the stuff. But let's get into why this is gonna be another rerun of Dragon Ball GT and Future as our two banners for anniversary for the second year in a row. It's happening again. Yes, you can see here we're on the DB space, you know, page, whatever. It has all the banners and with it, we have our newest banner that added a Legends Future Trap banner, which has, you know, LF Gohan, LF Vegeta, LF Goku Black. It's got all the future units on there. And to have a future themed kind of, you know, trap banner. Yes, there's a lot more future units than Universe of Isle Saga since Universe of Isle Saga is a newer banner. But it's, this is really, this is smelling super fishy to me that they have another, you know, future banner. And then the two Zenkais we got for this weekly reset, boom, the red Trunks, who's a future Trunks, he's, you know, older Trunks, Trunks from the future. And then the yellow Goku Black, who Goku Black is from the future arc. So two future units with a future banner. I mean, come on, come on, that's, and then we recently had the all, I think it's still actually, it's still there, you can still summon it. This all-star banner with the revival coup and hip, it's actually part of the future Trunks arc, the Goku Black arc. I know, like when you go check their uh, thingy, what is it, like what episode they're from, it's literally the future arc. So these two are both technically future, you know, units right there. And, uh, you know, that's, I mean, come on, we've gotten so much future stuff this year too. We got the LF Rose and we got LF One-Armed Gohan. They've been throwing future at us, I mean, really surprisingly, kind of periodically all year. And now we get these three things, it, it's all pointing to future. And then when you think back to the story, recently they updated the story. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. They literally put in the picture themselves and you see it when you like log into the game, that Goku Black is now in the story. I'm not gonna tell you his role because I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone who hasn't played it, but they added Goku Black to the story. So now there's Zamasu and Goku Black in the story. Both are future, as you all well know. So adding Goku Black and, you know, to the to the story with these banners, it's a future Palooza. And right before anniversary, it's it's gotta be. Last year, we had GT and Future. There was, you know, that little storyline with Omega Shenron and Zamasu, and then there was, uh, I think it was Full Power, and then I think they had Vegito, maybe it was Trunks and like Vegito Blue. I don't know, I don't, I, it's a little fuzzy. I don't, I don't remember, it's been a year. But they have that storyline, so I'm gonna guess that there's gonna, you know, they're gonna continue on with it when we get Future and GT again. And if I had to guess what we're going to, because Future doesn't have much left, like if we're being honest, like at least that I think they would put for anniversary. They're, we're gonna get LF Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't see how we don't. I literally don't see how we don't. We've gotten every Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the book. And if they're gonna put out a GT anniversary unit, it's it's gotta be LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And the uh, units for GT, I mean, that's that's still up in the air. I want to say Amaju, just because a lot of people like him. The other unit, I mean, like, there's this whole bunch of, you know, units out there. They try and do, like, a hero and a villain on each banner. At least they did last year and the year before. Both anniversaries, they've done a hero villain on each banner. First, again, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Frieza, the Golden Frieza. And then there was the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And then they put Buhan on there, even though, oh, Buhan made the theme with Super Vegito. And then, last year... We had Trunks and Zamasu. There's Vegito Blue, who's on both banners. The LF has been on both banners both times. And then we had Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Omega Shenron. So I'm going to assume it'll probably be a hero villain thing again. 
but maybe it's a dual LF because we've gotten LFs crazy. Literally every month this year we've snagged an LF. They've given us a new one. So maybe we'll be getting the first time dual LFs with a for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then for the future art, maybe they give us an LF Super uh, Spirit Sword Trunks. You know, the spirit bomb into the sword, bam, kills Zamasu. Yay, and then Zamasu turns into the sky. You get the idea. I think he is super deserving of an LF, especially if the Gohan with one arm got an LF. I think Sword of Hope Trunks is definitely deserving of an LF. So I, I could see us getting two LFs with this whole future theme they've got going on. And uh, then we'll probably get the Corrupted Zamasu on there. I would have loved if Corrupted Zamasu got an LF, but if he's included on this future, you know, for anniversary, I, I just don't see it. I just don't see it in the cards, <laughs> not at all. But I would love to get a Corrupted Zamasu, love Zamasu. I've actually been playing a lot with the uh, Fusion Zamasu. So, and he's, you know, still fun. You know, obviously he's not as good as he was a year ago when he first came out, but he's still a lot of fun. I love Zamasu, so would love to get a Corrupted Zamasu with the Trunks, the Sword of Hope Trunks, whether he's an LF or not, like, you know, regardless, I'll enjoy him. And then again, Gogeta and that. Uh, the only things really going for Universe Survival Saga now, you know, giving it any last kind of, it's on life support for if we're going to get it. I wouldn't, until they announce what the banners are, I wouldn't rule out Universe Survival Saga. I just, after this future, just seemed so far and away in the lead. Like, I don't know how you couldn't think that. But the things they got going for it, they had the 17 and 18 banner just came out, you know, the Tournament of Power 17 and 18. So that would lead to the Universe Survival Saga. Then the Hit and Goku banner, Hit is a rival universe type, you know, unit. So that could, you know, lead to the kind of, you know, because the Universe Survival Saga has a lot of rival units, or rival universe units. So that could kind of maybe, you know, point, although I did also mention that that banner is a future banner, and I think that points a lot more to future. And then we got the Zenkai for Khalifa recently. So I think that's really it for, like, pointing towards Universe Survival Saga. Not a whole lot compared to all the things I said about future there. Let me know. Do you think it's GT future again? Or are you still holding on hope that maybe we get a Universe Survival Saga with like a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and a God of Destruction Tapo. Honestly, I feel like those two units are so hype in and of themselves. They don't need to be included alongside on Anniversary with a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. They could legitimately hold their own as like a Christmas banner thing, just like Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and the Broly. Those two had their own, you know, dual LFs and they're like the, the Christmas time banner. Easily, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and God of Destruction Topo could do that if they wanted to run it back with another dual LF kind of Christmas banner this year. And I don't, I, no way, I don't believe in any universe that they give us MUI and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I just don't. But after all of this stuff added at this reset, where we're literally, as I said, like two weeks away-ish from getting the reveals and stuff for what third anniversary is going to be, I just, I have to say future. I have to say that it's going to be future now. And if it is future, it's probably going to run it back with another Trunks and Zamasu. I know that may bore some people if, you know, you're not a fan of future or you don't like Trunks or Zamasu or something, but I just see it happening. So let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, slap a like, subscribe if you're new. All the beautiful stuff. Anniversary time, baby. Third anniversary is here. It's been boring this year, to be honest, because we knew... We've known for like months now, or not months, but like at least a month that it's gonna be GT themed and that's made it so much more boring to try and predict these units since we already know basically half the banner or one of the two banners. So regardless, uh, hope y'all staying happy and healthy out there and uh, I'll catch y'all tomorrow.